All right, I want you to know what you're going to be doing in class tomorrow. So tomorrow we're going to be doing something called Newton's Revenge. And in order to do Newton's Revenge, Newton's Revenge is a roller coaster where the belief is that it wasn't built correctly and that when people take this that someone could get hurt, their arm could get chopped off, or maybe their head could get chopped off. And anyways, we're going to do some research to find out if this is true or not, or to find out if it's true. So, when you get to class tomorrow, you're going to notice that there are two tape measures on the wall. The first tape measure that you're going to go to tomorrow is going to be to measure your height. So you're going to stand up next to it, you're going to have someone else tell you how tall you are um, to the nearest centimeter. Okay? So someone will measure you, find out how tall you are to the nearest centimeter, then, after you find out how tall you are, you're going to sit down on a chair. When you're sitting down on the chair, you're going to reach up. And with that reach, you're going to measure how tall you are when you're sitting, but reaching, as though you're on a roller coaster with your hands up in the air, screaming at the top of your lungs. After you have those two measurements, you're going to go and record those two measurements. So, maybe your name is Jane Smith and you measured your height out at 155 centimeters and your reach was 128 centimeters. So Jane is fairly tall at 155, she's got a good reach at 128, um, that's when she's sitting and reaching. And then uh, next comes up Timmy Olson. Timmy measured himself to be 137 inch, uh, centimeters tall and he measured his reach to be 118. After you've recorded those and you have those down, on the whiteboard, you're going to notice that I've got up a little chart. So when Jane goes up there and she was 155 by 128, she's going to put a little red dot right at that spot to the best of her ability. Timmy was a little bit shorter. He measured 137 and I believe he was 118, so he'll put a red dot right there. When we get the whole classroom put together with all these dots, then we're going to be able to look at that information and start a discussion as to find out whether Newton's Revenge is a safe roller coaster or not. That is what you're doing in school tomorrow in math class. Um, if you have any questions, get to class early to ask Mr. Anderson, but really I think it's quite simple. It's kind of fun, and we'll see you tomorrow at class.